Welcome to my introduction on the interchangeable suspension training gear uh, setup here. This will be my first take and usually with my videos it's my only take. So we'll see how this goes. I have put together a suspension trainer. Um, uh, my first suspension trainer pretty much has been this style with the handle and you you pull on it and you work your muscles doing all kinds of rows and push-ups um, but I noticed uh, some of my exercises were, were hurting me so I wanted to fix that and I was getting a little bored too I guess you could call it boredom I'm looking for more fun I wanted more fun in my workouts so I wanted to change try to see, see what I, I could do to uh, diversify uh, the workouts better so I heard in a forum somebody or read in a forum somebody talked about using cannonball grips and I thought softballs would work good enough I like how they feel in my hands so I created these softballs and I made them exclusively on a, a, a strap without any interchangeable uh, abilities whatsoever but then after a week or so um, I got kind of uh, tired of being stuck in, in the same uh, length position. It was hard to do, say, like a tricep workout because I needed extended length for that. So I decided to make something to extend better. I ended up destroying my old suspension trainer. They're not really so much destroying, as you can see, the remnants. This is what this used to hang on. Is is, uh, this used to be on this and as you can see I still have the threads I didn't think they could be cleaned off there I, I just didn't bother but that was attached exclusively to the very end I just didn't want the uh, thing to fall off it went it went through this cam buckle and then I sewed it to the end and then it would adjust length um, can't really put it through one-handed too well uh, but it was, it was just the permanent setup that just couldn't be interchanged but now that I have a couple more handles here with this and the softballs I, I think I'd like to make a little more interchangeable um, piece of equipment here so this right here is the uh, suspension trainer by itself it's it's this length of strap it just has it's just a piece of strap with two buckles on the end simple I, I sewed these on to try to hold up the, the the slack when I shorten up the the length As you can see the length it's, it's pretty long so I want to want to be able to uh, tighten that up so it's not dangling in my face as I'm doing rows but this isn't doing a great job I need elastic this is an experimental little thing piece but yeah this is just a strap with two buckles on the end and I can make it interchangeable now what, what I do is I, I, I just simply have a, a strap that I put on say a, a pole like a pole right there and then I would uh, have that strap nice and secure around it then I'd put this um, carabiner attach that to it and then I would have my suspension trainer which in this case it's these softballs I can adjust I can adjust the, the length a little bit one handed if I don't feel, but these are way too short anyway. I usually have to have them over uh, to the very end. So that's that's the softball. If I got tired of the softballs, I'd pull it off here. Um, uh, okay, it's off. So I just unadjust, un unsecured the, the softball, and then, now I'm going to just toss it off to the side. And, um, hmm, what would I like to work with that softball? Maybe, 
Maybe I'd like to put uh, the end of this suspension trainer on. Well, that's easy to do. <clears throat> okay, it's on, and now I can work out with one hand with the suspension trainer and the other hand with the softball. Let's say uh, my hand's getting a little tired of, of holding on to the softball and I want to do this, this single uh, where it pulls on one end. So I have a single hold and then the double hold of the, the double pull or double force of, of the regular suspension trainer. Okay, so there we go. We have we have uh, we can work out with this this uh, regular suspension trainer or this this single pole, and we would just yeah be hanging off of the, the carabiner. It's strongly attached to the pole. Um, what if I wanted to have two? And I could attach two, have those as, as a workout, or I could have two of these. I could have one one of these single pull things, one of these softballs, heck of a challenge on the forearms. Um, these, these softballs are, are, uh, are very hard and you certainly uh, would want to try using uh, a regular handle for one hand and then the softball on the other because you can't do much holding on to a softball, at least with my strength level. I mean, the ends of all these, you want to keep nice and smooth. I mean, they're just simple ends. You just put them on there from the bottom and work up. And this is, you know, a couple, few hundred pounds, maybe three, I think it's only a 300 pound limit, but you can get them bigger. This is a one inch wide strap. You could go one and a half and then get those bigger buckles for it. And then you're looking close to a thousand load limit, no problem. I believe that's the TRX style of, of width. To I'm using the weak stuff because I can't put a lot of force on softballs. That's why I have the smaller straps for the softballs anyway. But that's that's the idea. It's I I like it a lot. It's it's great for for uh, keeping the workouts more interesting. So, um, yep, uh, thanks for watching.